video we might have a look at some HTML so what I'll do right then so this computer's been awfully slow today I mean usually <laughs> I'll, I would um, get upstairs to where I usually film and probably start filming in a in a few minutes or probably even that but anyway it's probably taken up to probably a good five minutes to film today for some reason but again Stop the computer's been a bit slow and yes. you know, what is that so anyway we might have a look at some html editors or i'm not too sure what we're going to have a look at Oh, yeah. yeah, which is usually the trend with these videos lately. Alright then, so let's have a look at HTML Editor Developer Kit 10. So, this does look interesting and fascinating. Oh, and so as you know, that this is a new computer that we are filming from. Well, not a new computer, but this is an addition, uh, rather. We've still got the Chromebook and the tablet, but my interest now is in the PC, since I was going to install programming languages for review, but since we saw other things on the windows 10 you know that, that made me decide to review those instead like the apps and and that to see how accessible they were from the windows 10 store Document button. List. Not anyway what is that Okay then, so you've got document and H2, H4, H6, wow, that is great, that is great, so HTML, by the way, is used for web pages and it is what web pages are made of. So, a web page is not just a document which you would write in, like Word, or for example, and an HTML editor is not where you can write things into. An HTML editor, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, requires coding to be done and learnt and undergone. So you need to learn how to do the coding, and the HTML requ editor requires the coding to be, you know, undergone to enable you to make the websites. So what we see here is what you would usually code so like the h1 and the h4 and i was wondering what the h1 and h4 were all about but now i think they are something to do with headings so Code. Wow, you got a code option here. So, colleges will usually use Adobe Dreamweaver, 
And Adobe Dreamweaver can be a little bit problematic, and I think I will feature Adobe Dreamweaver in another video because I am at the moment being faced with a decision decision rather to go back to college. So if I were to do that for example, being as Dreamweaver is a bit inaccessible and some programming languages are a bit inaccessible then I am unfortunately going to have to get down to business and actually test these programs so the appropriate companies and bodies can make the changes to those programs to have it more easy to use but this HTML editor is actually very easy to use so far from what I have seen you've got a preview and you've got an import button and you've got extract and the amazing thing about this app is that it's free so and you've got a code option there as well so Adobe Dreamweaver will have a code option there as well but anyway I am just very pleased on how this app is Document one of thirty two. I don't know what this document is though. Code two or Have to be patient with me, I'm afraid, with this. Computer. Wow, okay, so we have got to code this for the I am testing this app Space. on video at the moment. Now, as great as this app is, Hang on. Sorry, bear with me. Yeah, so this app does, however, have a few cons to it, actually. And one of them is when you are finding your way around the app, you do have to use your arrow keys, the left and right ones. I mean, you can use the other arrow keys, like the up and down, but the left and right ones are really crucial to ensure that you don't miss anything when you are navigating the app and usually people will probably, where's the P, 
Yeah, usually people will use their up and down arrows as opposed to the left and right ones. So, BR, that's line break. Yeah, so, yeah, that is that. I don't know what the owl button is all about, but I'll have to find out. Strong. So I do think personally that this app will have pretty much all that you would need in Dreamweaver and all that you would use in Dreamweaver. And I think this will be very sufficient for colleges situations because as you can see you've got quite a few options like audio and video and that. And I think the best thing to do is to actually conclude this video and in conclusion the HTML10 is a great app. It has loads of handy features. And again, it is probably going to be great for like colleague situations or if you are in an educational situation. And so, yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. I will see